What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Check it out. I'm getting ready to show you guys four ways that you can take a still photo and bring it into iMovie. I'm gonna show you how to import still photos into iMovie. You ready? Here we go. <laughs> All right, y'all, so check it out. You've been doing your video and now you got this idea or you got these photos you wanna bring in, but you're like, how do I get them in? These are four simple ways to bring them in. So let's assume that you already know how to bring them in real quick on this number one. You wanna bring it in, so we're gonna work with the very first video, like this. You're gonna grab it, it's already in your media section, so you just click on it and drag and drop it into the timeline. That's way number one. That's a simple way because you already got something in there. But let's say you want to get it for some other sources. Watch this. You can come up here to the top right here. And if you press that button, that's going to bring in your import file or import section. And this is going to give you access to things that are outside. So you can either go to a hard drive, something that you have um, um, already, you know, maybe you got some pictures on an external hard drive that you got plugged into your computer. You can go here, you can open up those drives and select the one that you actually want to work with in that way so you can find a picture somewhere and go and get it and you got what you want and you found it that way so that's number two that's the second way that you can do it here's another way that you can do it you can go right to your time i'm gonna slide this over but you can go right to your desktop and bring that back forward and grab a picture like this one or maybe like this one i like this one and we're gonna grab it and drop it in the timeline just simply take it and bring it into the timeline, just like I just did. Just bring it, and once you do that, the picture's in the timeline. Automatically there, nothing for you to do. You've already done it. That's way number three, way number four. It's like this. Let's say the picture is already online. Let's say it's a picture from a website or something that you want to get. Now, this site is a site that I use. It has free pictures, royalty free, so I'm not even in danger of breaking any laws or anything like that. So watch this. This one here, I can download it right to my hard drive, but here's a really quick way to get it first. We're gonna grab it, literally grab it off of this, off of the website and drop it onto our, onto our desktop. Once it's on our desktop, then we can drag it and drop it into our timeline. Amazing, right? It's just that simple. By these four little ways, either the ones that you already put in there, maybe you downloaded them or something, you can go and get them out of your media, or you can go to your input button or your import button and bring those in, or you can bring them in right off your desktop, or you can bring them in from a website by dragging them from the website to your desktop and then from your desktop into your file. Those are four ways that you can actually get uh, still photos into your timeline, into your video timeline. All right now there's a whole once they're in your timeline there's all kinds of things you can do but that's how you can import those photos into your timeline listen if you're enjoying what we're what i'm teaching you how to do with iMovie please go right now and click like click thumbs up uh, uh click uh subscribe uh share these videos with somebody practice the little tips and tricks that we're showing you and remember that we bring out videos every monday and every wednesday uh so yeah man just come back and check us out we got more videos coming on this we got things on logic we can ready to do some things on pages we got a few different things that we're going to be doing showing you how to use these different programs hope you enjoy yourself and i will catch you on the next video peace Oh, my God.